cellulite, women's worst nightmare. We've always had cellulite. If you're a woman and you've got a body, congratulations, you've got cellulite too. And it wasn't always an issue. As far as beauty standards go, this is a fairly recent one. After all, before the mid 20th century, no one would have known if you had cellulite as women's clothing was designed to cover our bodies. Heck, even exposing your ankles back then was considered raunchy, so no one would have seen the cellulite on the back of your thighs. However, as the generation who pushed for peace, love and sexual liberation gained popularity, our clothes also became more revealing. Suddenly, we were wearing mini skirts, bikinis, short shorts, and the cellulite that used to be hidden was suddenly exposed. Now, it's not as though before the 60s, cellulite didn't exist. It did. It's just that our clothes hid it, so we couldn't see it. It wasn't visible. But now that it was, well, beauty and marketing companies started to take notice too. They noticed a niche in the market. Convince women that the cottage cheese-like texture at the back of our thighs was a flaw? Cha-ching! Make them feel embarrassed about it? You've got a new product. There is big money to make. It's the age-old adage. Create the problem, sell the solution. Unfortunately though, for us women, this shame has continued well into our current generation. You will find article after article online advising women on how to get rid of their dreaded cellulite. Further pushing this narrative that cellulite is some kind of problem that we need to rid ourselves of and that we need to fix. Not to mention the barrage of degrading advertisements aimed at women, not only shaming us for daring to have cellulite like it was our choice, but also selling us the solution on how to rid ourselves of our dirty little secret. Look at how damaging these ads actually were. It's, it would be laughable if it wasn't so bad. Avon's anti-cellulite commercial went viral with its dimples are cute on your face, not on your thighs messaging. Thank goodness for the epic Jamila Jamil who publicly calls it out. Check out this front cover of the National Enquirer showing off celebrities with cellulite whilst at the same time advertising a miracle cure for cellulite. Come on. <laughs> Now, anti-cellulite treatments are my pet peeve. They range from minimally to very, very invasive. And I'm super excited to not have cellulite anymore. <laughs> If we ignore the advertising and the marketing companies for just one minute and put our thinking hats on, suddenly you can see cellulite for what it actually is. Cellulite is nothing more than excess adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is where your body's energy is stored in the form of fat. Contrary to popular belief, we don't run off fumes. Our bodies need energy to function. So when you eat, your body either burns off most of those calories or you can store them in your adipose tissue for later use. This is not a flaw. This is fucking smart. Whilst most of us have plenty of food to eat these days, just a few hundred years ago things were very different and our bodies are ancient creations and they know that sometimes there would be an abundance of food and sometimes we would be literally starving. By putting energy away in storage in our fat cells, it was there ready to be consumed by our bodies if and when we needed it. So for example, in summer when there was an abundance of sugary fruits, we'd eat it all and store some of that energy as fat so that when winter came and there was hardly any food to be found, our bodies had a neat little storage of energy cleverly put aside so that we didn't bloody die. That's really clever. Your body is infinitely intelligent. Stop letting these beauty standards and society manipulate you into hating yourself. Now when it comes to cellulite, over 90% of women have it. Yes, there are some women who don't have it, but the majority of us do. And there are a few things that dictate how much cellulite we're going to have and where it's going to be. Namely, how much food you eat and what you eat, your genetics and your hormones. If you have ever been pregnant or breastfeeding and you've noticed that suddenly you've got cellulite where you didn't know you could even get cellulite, that my friends is why. I speak from experience, you guys. This happened to me after the birth of Jax, my second son. I'm now nine months postpartum and you guys, I have cellulite where I never had cellulite before. It's on my calves. It's on the backs of my thighs. It's on the front of my thighs. It's on my arms. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. I am not going to spend my hard earned money lining the pockets of some beauty company that tells me that I'm flawed because I'm not. I am proud to say that it seems like it's our generation that is going to be the ones to reclaim cellulite as the intelligent bodily function that it was designed to be. Shake those thighs ladies you are body goals take the recent blockbuster movie barbie barbie historically has been the epitome of beauty standard perfection long blonde hair long slim legs teeny tiny waist perky boobs silky smooth skin and of course no cellulite but in the recent barbie movie margot robbie's barbie includes a scene where barbie in fact discovers that she too has cellulite let's just not talk about how the movie's official merch includes an anti-cellulite cream though because that kind of undermines the entire message of the movie 
Disappointing, yes. Surprising, no. But yes, my friends, cellulite is indeed trending. And if you have it, you should shake it proudly. Where once upon a time, women would have tried their hardest to hide their cellulite by covering up or airbrushing themselves, now we're trying to show it off. Forget the likes of Kim Kardashian, who has cellulite but will never admit it and actually, in fact, openly praises and advertises anti-cellulite cream, which obviously doesn't work because she still has it. Now us women are showing our cellulite off. Beyonce, arguably one of the most powerful women on the planet, she's got cellulite and do you see her investing in smoothing thigh creams or hiding her thighs? Far from it. Beyonce flaunts those thighs in mini dresses, shorts and thigh high slits. Look at the Australian influencer Tammy Hembro, millions of followers online, gym bunny and fitness model extraordinaire. This girl eats clean and exercises on the daily. Her body is a machine of muscle and yet she has cellulite and she isn't trying to hide it anymore. Ashley Graham, she is one who is proudly showing off her cellulite and make no mistake, this girl is not embarrassed by her intelligent body, she is rocking it. Celebs and influencers aside, there is now a powerful movement gaining momentum where women are proudly showing off their cellulite on social media and flatly refusing to be made to feel ashamed of it. They are using their social media platforms to fight back against the shaming of cellulite by doing quite the opposite and openly celebrating their body's intelligent design. The more we women refuse to bow down to the powers that be and give in to the pressure to hate ourselves, the happier and more comfortable we will be in our human bodies. In summary, cellulite is cool. Cellulite is trending. If you have cellulite, you are body goals. Cellulite is no longer seen as an embarrassing little secret that we need to hide and get rid of. It is seen as a sign of authenticity and realness, femininity. And finally, 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 us women are embracing our so-called flaws and taking our own power back. 